And now, your selection. Meet the stars. Captain, the ice is melting, the sun is out, the flowers are all in bloom. He's back. This movie is based on the actual J. M. Barry book, Peter Pan. I really fell in love with J. M. Barry's work, and I also felt that nobody had really seen Peter Pan before on the big screen, as it was meant to be. Had we been able to make the movie earlier, we wouldn't have had the sophistication of the special effects that we have now, so how we can actually create Neverland wouldn't have been available to us ten years ago. Industrial Light and Magic is almost always asked to create realism, and PJ came to us with a different kind of directive. He said, of course, I want the richness of realism, but the world itself needs to be freed from the confines of realism. That is something that really sets this film apart. Come away. We presented London as a very rich and fanciful environment for the kids to fly through. So we built a lot of the rooftops and many London streets as miniature sets to help portray to the audience a London cityscape that goes on forever. Neverland would have to be the most challenging and fun aspect of this project for a lot of us because it really sums up so much of the, the feeling of wonder in this movie. The match mover and the animator came up with a, with a path through the clouds. Um, that they wanted it to be like an exciting ride. And then finally you reveal to see the kids sitting on the cloud and then they see the boat down below them. I'm ready. And turn. The challenge for us was Tinkerbell's been done before and we wanted to do it even better this time. So once they found their actress, which was Ludovine Signier, we built a model that was really consistent with her shape so the compositors could take our CG character along with the blue screen and, and it would all blend in and match. So in the near shots would be Ludovine and then in the far shots we could use our CG character for flying. Many of these effects are achieved digitally, and many of them, particularly those with a more organic, handmade feel, turns out to be best uh, represented with sets. Because the live-action crew only had a partial ship set, we were required to extend that set in the movie so the audience feels like they're on a full-size ship surrounded by water with sails and so forth. You've hooked to me. What he's done is what Barry would do today if he had a mega budget in a Hollywood studio at his disposal. Jane Barry put everything that ever occurred to him in the book, and getting it right was one of the things that motivated me. Ready to lose the other one? Not this time. Peter! 